Greetings, Shiners, and welcome to the One Success Mindset Podcast here at Dr. Shine TV on YouTube. Thank you for being here today. I had to get on because I had a mission to perform, and I had something to share with my Shiners. And the word that I received today is to let you know that someone who you have helped in the very near past and or are considering to help right this moment. They have either been a family member, relationship, children, or professional. It doesn't matter. You are told that you have succeeded protection. Whatever you were thinking about, should I do this? Ah, man, I don't know if I should do this. I don't know if it's going to work out. No, you have been protected. Because what has happened is the game has been exposed. They told on themselves. So based upon the assumption of what you recognized when you looked at the situation, when you were requesting, when you were requested to help and you did so, or you were about to do so, what happened was you realized that this wasn't your first rodeo, that you are no longer the fool walking on the, uh, you know, walking and this is, you know, you have no idea what's going on. See, the mindset of how people manipulate, use, and um, cooperate with others to use and manipulate is this. You can be, they don't care who they use, Okay. It could be a sheep. <laughs> that means the 85% of people who really don't really know what's going on and, and could have no understanding. But even them, they eventually wake up. But I'm talking about those who can't protect themselves or help themselves, who are mentally disabled, un, unable to participate in their own conscious decision. These manipulators use these type of people. And they also use the very highly intelligent. Because a lot of times people can say that it takes a mastermind. So, of course, you need somebody who has excelled through a portal of life that you have not in order to get something or gain something manipulative that you don't really want to work for. These people did that to you. Congratulations. You were and are highly protected because you are God's respected being. You are God's respected one. So being the respected one, what's going to happen is in being chosen, you're going to have to make a conscious effort to be okay with what these people are about to get, they about to get a behind whooping from the universe. They're about to be stopped in their tracks. Things are about to be shaken up in their lives. And you can mark my words on this podcast. Timestamp this moment. People are no longer going to be getting away with the dark energy uses because even the darker energy uses, even the powers of sources of sorcery and wickedry is being returned to sender. <laughs> so that means that if somebody is doing a, a prayer, they're praying, P-R-E-Y-I-N-G trying to hunt for their next meal and you just happen to be the one that's on the platter because you looking good, plump, then what's going to happen is because you're so divinely protected, you are going to be that one that will be able to discern intuitively, don't do this, don't partner with that person, don't Pay attention to who's coming and how they're coming. Be mindful. 
Mm -hmm. And when you start to see that, people expose what they've been doing behind your back. Yeah. And a lot of times when we are being hunted, if we turn around and pay attention to who's hunting, we can be prepared. So they become the prey. They don't even know it. So be mindful. And even be mindful of, and shiners, be mindful of the people you continue to help. Because you can become part of that, that process that is going to happen. That awakening. And the awakening is, can be destructive, but it, it always is successful. It's always helpful. We're going to learn what we came here to learn. And no parental protection, no education, no victimization, no excuses, no being a victim is going to prevent the lesson from being learned. So we got to recognize that. And when we do, we accept it. And then when we accept it, we excel from it. Now, again, shiners, don't be angry when the Most High begins to, or when the person themselves begin to work with their higher source and start creating the same thing that they expected to harm or hurt someone else to be returned to them. This is the year of exposure, 2024, year of exposure. Everyone's going to be exposed for the good and the bad that's being done. Don't, don't get it twisted. I mean, there is a reward in doing it right or halfway trying. Or halfway trying because, yeah, anything can be a, uh, some type of fraudulent activity, a illegal activity. But what happens is when you're divinely protected, you're human. But that doesn't give you a right to go and manipulate and bamboozle somebody out of what's theirs in order to get ahead just because you didn't know about it. Just because it looks easy. You got to put in your, you got to, and see, these are the entitled individuals I'm talking to right now. Thank everyone for being here on the podcast. And we have different people. We have silent listeners who are here for their own reasons. You know why you're here. I don't know. I don't even know you're here, but I know you're here. Okay. But what I want you to know about it is that everyone is going to have is their just reward. And it is a collective consciousness because what's happening is there is a purging on, on the planet that is coming forth where, you know, God's respected ones are going to be chosen to do um, and observe this awakening. So if you ain't on the right side, you better get on the right side because if you sit back and look, even those who are on the wrong side. They may be over here right now listening. Mark my words on this timestamp right here. Consequences have probably already befell you. Based on the things that you already tied to and connected to as the reason why it happened. Look at Ice Cube on um, Boys in the Hood. Perfect example. Walking down, him being a little boy, dough boy, instead of being dealing with the consequences when your mama say, don't do this or do that, you do it. Okay? Because what you're doing is setting up, you're stacking up all the odds against you. And only you keep track of everything you know you're doing when no one else is looking. So he told Doughboy, he said, mama going to whoop your tail. <laughs> he was like, man, I don't care. I don't care. See, when you can't be punished, then the consequence is going to be way harder for you 
than it is for anyone else. For anyone listening, look back over your life hindsight 30 days. Now, you know, you don't know me. I don't know you. I haven't been around you or any of that. Hindsight 30 days, you have been in hell. Go back and look at it. Because, see, you're not even aware of the hell that you've been through. But here's what I want shiners to know. That when you start from the bottom and you have been knocked down by these narcissistic manipulators and abusers and people who want to control you and determine. Now, I'm not talking again about parenting that you had to do what you had to do to make sure your kids listen. So you whoop their behind. OK, yes, there is no if, ands or buts about it. Many of them need their behind whoop. But now all of a sudden, because society tells us differently, we can't do with what we were taught. But there was a certain work ethic within us. There was a certain protection we had over us. There was a certain belief system of fear that was put into the mindsets of those kids around my generation that ain't going to do certain things. They're not going to even try it. These entitled individuals, I'm talking to you now. Guess what? Everything you owe. No matter how much you try to manipulate and prevent yourself from, you know, t- being um, being taken over is um, it's all coming back for those entitled individuals that chose to keep six figure incomes and they refuse to help those who were less than them. Guess what? Your time is here. Your children won't be able to be fed now because now comes karma. Here comes the karmic debt because you didn't think of anyone but yourself. It's showing itself all in the media, all in Hollywood. Now here come Prince Charles, Prince Andrew, whoever. He's already, uh, it's so much stuff. Man, I'm telling you, I ain't even going into that. But, I mean, it's, it's all being exposed. So for the shiners who are trying to, to rock in the shoes you're walking in, keep doing it. At least keep trying. Keep going forward and keep telling yourself, I can do this. It can be done. It's okay. I got this. Keep going to work. Keep building up the rights and keep respecting other people who are trying to help you and don't look at them in a judgmental way. Don't look at them as with a jealous eye. Don't look at them with a weak mind or take their kindness for weakness. Don't do that because we easily can. And the only thing that's going to happen is it's going to be reversed. It's going to be returned. I sit back and I see rituals happen on the frequent. Things I don't even understand why they're happening. But you clip a bird's wings, it won't be able to fly. So it sits there and it does nothing. I don't know why that just came to me. You know? But little do we know that when we harm someone else, an animal or ourselves or um, someone else, it gets returned back to us. You know, even those who don't even understand or have a conscience, those individuals, (laughs) they feel something too. There's something happening there too. So, shiners, I'm just letting you know that when, even in the biblical text, Moses made it across the same water that his enemies got drowned in because he was doing the right thing. He was going on. And if you're just halfway going on the right path, that's the reason why Moses, when he was younger, he was a murderer. He killed somebody. He killed one of those people. But he took the rest of his life to rectify and make up for that. And that's what we're going to have to do. 
you know, forget putting a ritual on somebody else, you know, oh, I, I look out for you. I don't want, you know, nah, don't, you know, when you look out for me, look out for you. Because when you're praying upon me, when you're praying for my downfall and believe me, it can be, you can have a whole person, a group or a fleet of people working on the same ritual because they have something in common. And that could be somebody trying to elevate themselves to make sure that they keep a success mindset. What you gonna do about that? You can't ward everybody off. You can't be so paranoid that where you stay in your house all day and you do nothing. So what you do is you ward it off by returning it to the most high to help the sender understand. Because before I would say return the sender but I'm going to return it to the most high to accept it, embrace it, and then exceed it. That way that energy dies. I'm not affected by it. The person who sent it is affected by it. And in that affectedness, they drive themselves crazy because they wonder how their rituals are no longer working. When you deal with these old heads, when you deal with these OGs that sit back and abuse people and manipulate people due to rituals and magic and spells and dark work and all of that, guess what? All you've done is opened up a can of worms that is in your head and they're just squirming around all over the place. Pretty soon it's going to look like Medusa's hair. In your brain, you're not going to be able to understand it. And it's going to turn you over into a reprobated mindset. Those energies are going to try to take over and consume. And before you know it, you are somewhere where you could never, ever find, fathom finding yourself. That's why one thing I am grateful for right this moment in my success journey and my one, one, mind, one success mindset is that I have 12 things that I did not have when I awakened. And that was the 12 steps to my recovery journey. You know, I was just talking about that, how I need to heal from the inside out, from things that I've woken up to finding out that I had done. But many people, they're really awake and they're engaging in the dream of whatever it is they're taking. Well, I'm going to take my mother's house. I'm going to put her in a nursing home and I'm going to take her house. Yeah, they have it all set up sometimes. I'm going to, you know, do this. I'm not even giving no examples, but, you know, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Not for the good of everyone involved, but of the selfish greed of the moment. But all that's about to be awakened. It is this energy. The time is now. You know, the golden age was here. The golden age is here. But it's how you're handling it. How much of it is going to be returned back to you when you start to see your rituals slap you in the face and spew in your backyard and throw up in your mouth. It's not going to hurt the person you sent it out to. It's going to hurt you. So please be mindful of the wickedry things that are performed, the wizardry things that chooses to be performed in today's world. So I wanted to get on and just shout out to Shiners and thank you for being consistent, being connected, being, showing up for yourself because you rocking in the shoes you're walking in, you're wearing a damn thing. So keep it moving. Keep it moving. <laughs> I remember that. But yeah, you can do this. You can do this. So I'm letting shiners know. I'm letting those who are on the path of righteousness know as God's respected one that um, don't be judgmental when you see your enemies getting their just rewards because that's what's happening. That's what's coming down to it. And guess what? When it comes down and we see it, we accept it, we embrace it, and it may hurt, 
we may have some losses. We may have some, you know, really emotional states because we don't want our loved ones hurting. But when they are abusing us psychologically, mentally, uh, emotionally, financially, and all that, they have to get that back. That narcissist, that manipulator, you're going to have to get it back. Time stamp this. And it's coming. And it ain't going to take long to be returned to sender. But I'm trying to, you know, return to the universe so it can help me decide how to embrace it, accept it, and then exceed it to where that energy don't have to come back. But you keep messing with God's ones, respected ones, then you're going to have hell to pay. You're going to have hell to pay. These people can't keep getting around, you know, doing whatever they want to do. So, yeah, that's what I want to say. So, um, I thank you all for being here. Uh, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel. And we will see you next time.